Hi students, this is a review of your course syllabus for BA 102 Professional Skills and Career Readiness. Once again, welcome to this fall 2024 semester. Very first thing when you go into your desktop version of your Canvas course, uh, this video is only to, uh, to show you where everything is on the desktop version. However, if you're looking at the app, if you downloaded the app, on your phone, you're gonna have to go click on your course, and then you're gonna have to go on the home page, and from there, uh, you could see the syllabus. So here on the syllabus, there's a couple of options. I, I uh, attached the document here in Word, and you can also find it uh, below in um, in PDF. So here's the PDF. You can download it. I highly recommend that you have your um, your file for this class. And then here you have the text. I copy pasted all the text as well. So there's a few options. Here's the accessible course syllabus where you could have it read to you. Uh, here is the immersive reader and then it would start um, um, the audio. Okay, so um, this is, this is uh, here you would it click on place course course at the policies. bottom. Santa, Santa on college. college. Okay, and this is one of the options that you have. Um, so we're going to go over the syllabus very quickly. Uh, once again, this is the first time that I'm teaching this class. This is 16 weeks. It's always been in eight weeks. So I'm really, really excited because I am a certified workforce development professional, and I'm very passionate about assisting uh, college students, um, young and older adults as well in job searching and becoming professionals and polishing their soft skills. So I am excited again to be doing this in 16 weeks. So there's a couple of things that change from the eight week course. Uh, so I'm gonna go, first of all, I'm gonna review the dates. So the dates here, the important dates are the same for all your classes that you're taking as, uh, that are 16 week long, however, Please, it's very important that you know the dates here because if you're taking an eight-week class, either for the first session or the second half of the semester, the dates are going to be very different. So the class, as you all know, starts August 19, and then the last day to add a class is September 2nd, the same thing as the uh, last day to drop without a W is September 2nd, and the last day to get a refund is September 2nd. However, uh, based on the large number of fraudulent accounts that we had in the past. Uh, we were asked by our business applications and technology department to be very, continue to be very strict because we actually been really strict this last few semesters. Uh, however, again, if you do not participate in the first week, you will be dropped the second Monday, uh, the second week during module two, which is August 26th. Uh, again, it's very important that you participate to avoid being dropped. And again, the last day to drop with a W is November 10th. However, by sad policy, a student that does not participate for two weeks is a no-show. You will be dropped before this date. So it's very important that we keep the line of communication open. I want you to be successful in this class. Um, here, please review the attendance policy. This is an asynchronous class. Again, we do not meet, but it is very important that you uh, maintain all your deadlines and you submit all, all your assignments on time. Uh, the assignments, testing, and grading, all assignments are due the following week. So everything is in module one. Every module opens on Monday, and everything in module, in this case, module one, uh, will close the following Sunday and so forth. The same thing happens with every module. However, uh, please be advised that you have to be very careful with the due dates because I get this a lot. I leave them open an extra week because I grade and it gives you an opportunity. Uh, life happens if someone has to submit an assignment, they still have until the following weekend. I will discount points though. However, please be very mindful that it's in order to not fall behind, please submit your assignments on time every Sunday. Get into the habit of doing that. They are open an extra week, but that does not that is not the due date. So please make sure you keep that in mind. Um, here go over the, the late work policy. The last day to submit, your last assignments is, um, any late assignments is by the end of module 14, very important. 
Uh, here are the weights for the assignments. All your assignments are 20%. Your quizzes are 20%. A labor law project is 30%. You will find out more about that shortly. And then your final exam is 30%. Communication, please inbox me uh, first in Canvas because I have access to the Canvas app and I can answer your emails, your inbox uh, faster if you do that. Uh, the second option is by emails, but again, I have my, uh, my, the, the phone with me more readily available. Uh, and then over the weekend, um, everything that you communicate with me will be answered if possible within the next day or by Monday. So please allow for at least 24 hours, one day for me to reply to your emails. If you have impending questions, uh, you could also use the Canvas Communication Discussion Lounge, the Student Lounge, and then um, to see if anybody else can also um, collaborate and provide you with those answers. Also here is the Bronto app. So the Bronto app, some of my students download this on their phone and that way they communicate. This is our own chat for our classroom. So if you want to download the Bronto app, I highly encourage you to do that as well. It's not required, but it is very beneficial. Uh, go over the academic honesty policy. Um, there's a lot of uh, questions about the use of artificial intelligence. Uh, we are going to have one module talking about the use and, and using it to your advantage uh, and how it does that, um, how, how can we use it as an asset. So we will discuss that. Um, please, if you have any need, any accommodation, please make sure you contact DSPS. I do need a document from them and I will be more than happy to make the accommodations that you require. Um, again, for Canvas, you need to contact Canvas directly for all tech and glitches. The class schedule is very important that you go over your class schedule because they are, um, you are going to have a syllabus quiz, okay? And you need to have this open when you have your syllabus quiz because it's going to ask you for the dates that uh, the, the last day to draw, for example, refund, when is your final, et cetera. So the first week we're going to talk about entering the workforce. What does that mean? How, especially for those of you that are just coming out of high school, uh, what does that entail? And then for those of you that are more mid-career, the same thing. You know, we I want you to think here out of the box. And even, you know, I, I have students that had businesses in the past and they ask, hey, can I submit this instead, you know, so that I can use it for my business? Yes, please reach out. I want you to think out of the box. Everyone is at different levels. We have students that are coming in just from the high school. We have students that are have a master's and are coming back for um, uh, for uh, their to promote, you know, in their work or in their job or perhaps gain a new skill. So everybody is at a different level, and that's the beauty of this because we're gonna learn from each other. So here also, I I noted the holidays, but because this is an asynchronous class and we do not meet. It does not affect us. I still have to um, uh, note them here, okay? Because the class opens on Monday and this is a self-paced class as long as you submit your assignments by the next Sunday. So here are some of the topics, becoming a professional, managing and organizing yourself, developing customer focus, what does that mean? Uh, working ethically, and then understanding workplace teams and start your labor projects. So here in module six, you're going to start 30% of your um, of your grade, and you're going to have three weeks to develop a presentation. Now, in the syllabus, it says it's mandatory to do it as a group project. You can uh, pair with someone. If you prefer to be someone you know, please uh, make sure that you email me by the end of week three, because in week four, I'm going to start making the groups. Um, I do understand in the past, I, I had a nurse she had a very difficult she was uh, working the graveyard shift so um, i understand that um, everyone's situation is different so please reach out there's been some cases yes i am very flexible like i said i want you to be successful where students have done their work individually so for whatever reason just um, email me or inbox me uh, first and then uh, we can discuss the possibility but by week four i'm going to start forming the groups and here is very simple. I'm going to even provide you with a, just a whole section of 
examples of what some other students have uh, submitted in the past. So you're going to have a lot of guidance, okay? Uh, and then you're going to uh, also develop presentation skills, sharpen your skills. I've asked our IT department to uh, provide Adobe Express for all of you. So all of you are going to have access to the Adobe uh, the cloud for you. And then there's going to be more information on, um, on one of the, on module one, so that you can um, start logging into that and i would like for everyone by week three to have already access to your adobe uh files and i highly highly encourage you to try those yes you can create a flyer with powerpoint yes you can create a flower with a flyer with word and other programs canva is very popular too but i really want you to get to uh, familiar with adobe express because they they are very professional very colorful, very dynamic, very user friendly. So I, if you have not used Adobe, this would be a great experience. You'll you'll have access to all the apps in Adobe to uh, just during the duration of, of this class. But the one that I would like for you to, to explore is Adobe Express and you, there's going to be all the instructions there. Uh, and then maybe if you really like it, you can maybe pursue how, taking a different um, course at Santa Ana College to enhance your skills in Adobe. We have many Adobe classes. Okay, so here you're going to start your labor law project and then uh, you're going to work on your presentation skills, um, how to make your presentations look more presentable, um, how, how to... Um, Record because you are going to have to present a recording and then uh, your labor law presentation is due in module eight. I'm going to give you a freebie here for your syllabus quiz. Okay, so if you get it wrong, it means that you did not watch this syllabus review video. Then in week nine, we're going to talk about how do we improve our communication skills, our interpersonal communication skills at work, etc. And then week 10, we're going to talk about communicating with technology. What apps are there? How can we use technology to our benefit? And of course, we can. We have to talk about artificial intelligence, right? Especially because of its, its, its how it's growing exponentially, and and also how do we how do what's ethical and how do we use it to our advantage when it comes to helping us become more professional. Uh, we're also going to talk about planning meeting and events, business travel, managing physical and electronic records and email. And then week 14, we're going to start work towards the final. So in week 14, a lot of my students did not have an issue with this because they already, the ones that have already um, have work experience, they already have their resume ready. So here you're gonna start working on your professional portfolio. So we're gonna talk about leadership, uh, leading with conference. Well, what leadership soft, uh, soft and hard skills do you need? Personal assessment, you're going to conduct a personal assessment, your SWOT analysis, your personal SWOT analysis. And then the following week is Thanksgiving. There's no discussion, but you're going to continue to build your portfolio. So week 14 and week 15, you're going to build your portfolio, and that's going to be part of your final exam. But the last week of finals, you do have to uh, record an elevator pitch video or an audio. And you have to submit it with everything, your pro professional portfolio. So more on that, but this is going to be an opportunity for you to get all your all your um, resume, your cover letter, your references, information, because I don't, I don't want the reference letters, but I just want you to have get into the habit of having everything ready so that when you apply for a job, you, you have your references, you have your all the information for your employ, uh, past employments. Um, and, and that way um, you're, you are more competitive in the workforce. So again, uh, this I'm really, really excited to, that you are taking this class. This is for the first time in 16 weeks, uh, the entire semester class. So I'm really excited. Otherwise, uh, to be honest with you, it was, it was a little difficult for my students to do an eight week class because we cover a lot of material, but because this is 16 weeks, I've added the elevator pitch. So I'm really excited. And again, uh, good luck in your syllabus quiz. And I'm so excited to uh, start reading your assignments. Thank you.